Hello YouTube. Today I want to show you how to use the loot filter because it's a very useful tool in last epoch. As you can see now I'm not using any uh, loot filter. I can see all the items on the ground and when you farm this can be very very time consuming because you have to check each item and see if it's good for you so to go to the loot filter you have to go to settings here at gameplay you have to scroll down and you have loot filter also you have a, a key shift F you can go directly to the loot filter Now here you can import a filter if you have you have found one on the internet that you want to use or you can create your own filter but we will create our own and we'll click create a filter so we'll create a new filter from scratch so I'm playing a two hand X paladin with fire damage so it's melee damage and I will you can name it whatever you want so so here I you, you put a name that you want you can choose an icon and a color so that's it now what I want is to hide everything or not everything depends on what what you want you go here add the rule then you have to click on one of this tree you can type on show hide or recolor so basically on show it doesn't do anything because you already see all the items now and I will choose hide then I have to add a condition what items do you want to hide so I click here and then I go to item type for example and I will choose every single thing that I don't want to see so I don't want to see one-handed weapons so, two-handed weapons I want to see only axes so I will I will leave this unchecked because this one you want to hide then I don't want to see offhand and I want to see idols armor for example I want to see helm body armor belt boots gloves everything you can You can check them all. For example, idols. I won't. Uh, I won't check it because I really want to see all the idols. But the others will check them all, and I will explain later why. So we'll confirm it, and all these items we won't be able to see. It. For example, you will see we have these boots on the ground. When I will add the rule. The boots are gone. I can only see two-handed axes right now. Okay, so now I will want to hide even more things. For example, again item type, and I will select two-handed weapon, uh, two-handed axe. Then at two-handed axe. 
I will want to I will select all classes but then I will unselect for example I really want to see radiant X because I'm melee damage and melee fire damage I need it also fire penetration is very good so I will use this and this one is also good for me this one with necrotic penetration I don't need so I will I left it I, I will leave it checked and this one it's okay but yeah I will I will uncheck it so I will only see these three type of axes okay so I will add to the rule as you can see I only I only can see this one X previously I could have I could have seen the other one where is it there was another X so yeah this one now I cannot see it anymore because I don't want to okay so now what you want to do is for example you want to to see to see the unix so you go here to show add condition item type or rarity and at rarity you can see all exalted all uniques but first let me show you i will take this unique and i will throw it on the ground i cannot see it and also the exalted one i cannot see it so we go back to the filter we add the rule show rarity and unique and also exalted items okay we'll add it now we can see it but as you can see here it says rules positioned higher in this list overrule those below them so if i take this rule and i put it down here as you can see i won't be able to see it even if i have the rule so i will leave it above the ones that hide all the items so this hides all the items but this will make an exception for unique and exalted items i don't know why this doesn't work but it should doesn't matter as you can see i will see all the uniques and all the exalted items so i will take them back Now I will throw the X on the ground. This X, I, I can see it because it's what I need. I left it out from the ones that I, I hidden. And now, for example, you can see them like this. Normal, it's a rare a weapon, normal weapon. I will add a rule and we'll choose FX. FX and here we'll select one second. I have to see what I have. It's melee fire damage, melee attack speed. So I will add an FX, for example. So melee, I have melee attack speed confirmed. So what it says basically here, you uh, if the item has melee attack speed, at least one of, of these, 
I can select even more. I can select, for example, melee fire damage. If it has at least one of these two selected, the item will show, but it already shows my item, so I will I really need those two affixes, so I will recolor it so I would see it on the ground and know that it's a good item for me. I will recolor it. For example, I will put red, then add, and now you can see the item turned red because it has melee fire and increased melee attack speed. Also, you have advanced options, for example, you can choose the tier, for example, more than tier 4. Total FX tiers, this I don't, I, I will not use it, I will choose 4 here. So this means that the affixes must be at least 4. As you can see, we can see it. But if I change it to 6, it's not red anymore. It's a normal item because it doesn't have the, the rules that I, I chose here. So I'll use tier 4, for example, or maybe tier, th tier 3 because I want it to have at least tier 3 so I can craft it. If it's tier 1, I will use too much forging potential and I, I will not be able to craft a good item. So I will leave, leave tier 3. Okay. So let's see what else we can do. So you can choose the level here, but I, I will not choose it because I will get to level 100 and I will use any weapon. You can choose the rarity like I showed you. And class requirements, I don't really need that. So basically that's all, all I need for, for the um, X. I will add something else like attributes. I really use all attributes, maybe strength and atonement. Also, melee physical and also just melee damage. If there's at least one of these with uh, tier 3. I will see it's red. I also, as you can see, I can choose to have at least two of these, this one it has, and three of these, but now it's impossible because all of these are prefixes, so I will not find any item like this. So I will leave one. And I will select the red color and then I will do another rule. Well, let me duplicate this. I will do another rule. I will choose it, choose this to see it as brown or orange. I don't know what color it is. And now I will select two at of these affixes and I will select even more for example damage type I will choose fire damage fire penetration I need and elemental damage is good for me So remember, this will only sh 
show the items that will have at least two affixes with this color. It doesn't have to be uh, an X, it can be any, any item. So that's why I'm, I will choose a lot of, a lot of um, affixes. So spell, I don't need attributes. I don't, I will choose vitality. Health, for example, I will need, I really need added health and increased health. So resistances, I need added armor. Elemental resistance. So I will also need increased armor. And endurance is very important. Also endurance threshold. Basically any resistance is good for me. I will leave them all. Okay, potion increased. No, dodge chance. No, La health recovery. I really like health on melee hit, health regen per second, and any of these. Word, I don't need word. I'm not playing with stun, not crit strike avoidance. Mm, I don't need it. Leech, maybe increased melee damage as health it's okay so call down movement mana regeneration ailments mm, chest shred armor on hit chest apply frailty on hit on melee hit or even on, on hit and also ignite so let's see class class specific sentinel i need chance to bleed many physical no maybe channel cost so i can use the warpath even more Mana gained when you use Reeve and hit at least one enemy. It's good. It gives me more mana. Increased fire damage and ignite duration. Increased physical damage and bleed duration. So this one is really nice. Lev level of warpath level of rive and also for judgment let's see where is judgment here nice i also have holy aura but i don't really need it so now for idols i think for idols we'll do a different one okay so personal let's see what's here we'll leave it like this so any item that has two of these affixes that i chose will show in orange and the affixes must be at least tier 3. Maybe I'll put tier 2 if it has two affixes like this. So. Okay. So I guess ev everything like, like you see here. It also has increased health regeneration like I need. And 76 armor. And that is that is quite good. Mm. 
but I will add rules for each each item type even if it's good I, I really need good affixes so I need to hide some of the hide items for example I will choose boots right now okay boots so I don't need hide boots because they have five armor only 5, 35 movement speed so I will really need this one with increased movement speed and fire resistance and let's see Wait, armor. So these two are okay. This one has also cold res, and this one has 53 armor. Okay, so as you can see, even though this item, these boots have, um, let me see, so here. Where are the boots? Here. Even though it has two affixes that I need, I won't take them and they won't show because they're a different type and I don't need that type. So I will do the same for other For other items like I don't want to see one-handed weapons and neither offhand weapons and also for my build I don't need I only need two-handed axes okay so now again I will do this again for Let's say helmet, okay. I don't need primalis, mage, acolyte, rogue. Uniques, it shows all uniques. And here I will only need this one with endurance threshold and 15 to 50 increased fire damage. This one is the best for me. Also, Dawn Helm with 400 armor, it's, it's good. Depends on what affixes it has. Okay, so. Another rule, hide. This time we'll choose body armor, subtypes. I will only want this one with endurance and this one with don't play with 550 armor and also this one is nice it's not so good but it's, it's better than what I have so that's why I want to see it so I'll add another rule item type belt confirm hide all classes I really need just the armor one and I already have one with three potion slots but it's okay if it has any of the affixes that I, I chose so. okay so boots I already did boots gloves the clouds we have all classes the ones that i really like are plated gauntlets that has endurance crusader gauntlets are nice 
as well, but I think for me, plated gauntlets are better. Okay, hide. So, almost done. Now we have to do accessories, amulet, hide. Here I will really like the jade amulet that gives you melee, melee attack speed. Ruby amulet. And maybe Oracle Amulet. Sorry, I have to select all and this. I'll, I'll select. This one is good because I don't have anything against damage over time. So it could be nice. Okay. Another item. The rings. So. All of them except fire res and fire damage. The ones with vitality and health regen are nice, but not not so good. But I guess I will I will take them as well. So hide. Relics, all classes, maybe not, no, all classes, and I, I can keep the golden chalice, and from Sentinel, I will need only Solar Commandment. Because it's increasing my fire damage and healing effectiveness. Sorry, I forgot to select hide, update, and the last things the idols. I really want to see all the idols. So. I don't need a rule for the idols because I didn't. I didn't select to hide them at the beginning. So basically, that's that's my loot filter. As you can see, I can see even blue items if i want i can i can add a rule for item rarity for example i don't really want to see normal items because but i will not see them because of the rules with the affixes but i will select normal and also magic one because then if i can see magic items even though they have the affixes that i want i will really need to use a lot of forging potential to add affixes and upgrade the affixes that i have so i will hide all the normal and magic items as you can see now i i cannot see any of the items so let's see this one has warpath but i cannot see it yes i cannot see it because even though it has the affixes the implicits are not what i chose so I really need a better armor for for my build. And 
this one has endurance threshold and and health but it's a blue one so i cannot see it but maybe i guess i will do something with it later So yeah, that's basically it, it's not complicated, it doesn't take long to make this filter, but then you will spare a lot of time when you won't check every item to see if it's good for your, your build. Mm, that's it guys, if you have any questions or I missed something. Please let me know, I'm kinda new at Last Epoch. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Thanks, bye.